We are about to get on the Eurostar and start our journey to Italy. Here we are, coach number 11. Just going down one more until we get to coach number 12. Coach number 12, here we are. Look at that. So we're now just going through, trying to find our seats, which are here. That's from Long Six, right next to the lovely track, which is perfect. Let's load it up. So I've just loaded up suitcases on the lovely track. There's literally like no one really on the train at the moment. So we'll be in Paris soon. Just have a look through here, see what there is. We've got the cat down there. Got the toilet to pool as well. I'm very excited. Can't wait to be in Paris. And yeah, experience the first time on the Eurostar. So we are about to arrive in Paris. The weather is absolutely terrible. <laughs> Just thought I'd be one of those people that stands up before the train stops with my suitcase ready. Just don't fancy waiting behind like a hundred school children <laughs> that are on a trip in a minute when they all try and get out. So now walking to get the train from Gare de Nord to Gare de Lyon and then go to the hotel, drop my suitcase off and then go to the Eiffel Tower. tickets that they have to get on the train it's only two pounds like i said so yeah really good value let's go to the hotel so we have just arrived at the hotel it's called prince albert to leon bercy really really nice inside Just in. nice area up here we're gonna head over to our room our room is actually on the fourth floor so let's head there now so I know someone mentioned that the uh, hotel rooms in Paris can be quite small, as you can see, sort of half opens. Anyway, it's only literally to rest our heads. We're going to go to the Eiffel Tower in a little while, and then tomorrow we are going to Milan and then to Naples. So this is the other balcony, and obviously you've just got the bed. TV, kettle station for making tea and coffee for the morning. So we're just on the lead up to the Eiffel Tower, and there is loads and loads of different stores selling all sorts of food souvenirs so we are at the Eiffel Tower as you can see it is behind me so it didn't take us long to get here at all from the hotel can't actually believe how many people are here selling the same Eiffel Tower key rings and stuff there's literally like 50 or 100 people that we passed that are selling the same thing like you might you can see one there so yeah we're gonna queue up and uh, go in so we're just queuing up to buy our tickets and then we'll be walking to the second floor and then getting the lift to the top from there so we have just started the walk up the stairs of the eiffel tower actually amazing so what you have to do is you have to walk to the second floor and then you get a lift from there to the top so that's what we're gonna do today wow look at that there's no we are almost on the first floor so are you one of the six million that's visited the Eiffel tower I like to pitch back here, but it's helping my fear of heights, so that's fine by me. <laughs> we are at the first floor. So as we're getting higher, the view is getting so much better from here. I finally, at the second floor, I was literally breaking a sweat and all sorts. It literally felt like a million steps getting up here, it's crazy. Look at this. Yeah. 
das darf sie immer sind. So, the tower. It's taken a while to get to the edge because obviously everyone wants to get some awesome pictures while they're here. This is honestly unbelievable. I was actually scared to come up here because I've got really bad fear heights, but it's been well worth it. So, really pleased. I think it's like 20 pounds to come up here. Well worth it. Definitely would recommend. One, two euro in. That was fast. Quite nice. I was there in 2023. And now we're on our way back down. We're on the second floor again now. So the lights have just come on on the Eiffel Tower. So cool. It's literally like so many people trying to film it all at once. I'm not sure you can actually see behind me, but there it is. What's going on guys? So we've got a 6am start today and we're at Gare de Leon station and this is where we're going to be catching the train to Milan and then from Milan the train to Naples. Actually a really nice grand looking station. So yeah, let's go have a little uh, mooch about, see if we can maybe get some breakfast and then go get our train to Italy. So the train is here, we're just currently waiting to get on board. So we are here now to board the train, to coach number four. So we're walking to coach number eight, which looks like it's almost towards the front. I'm really excited. One step closer to our destination. Um, and the best destination is what it is. We are boarding the train. Hoping that we're in the correct place. We're in a silent area, area silencio. So these are the seats on this train. So annoyingly, there's a, like the sort of print against the window like that. So we're not going to be able to see too well out of there, but it should be alright. Alright, let's go, on to Italy. So we are just taking a break at the moment in the bistro bar. They've got quite a good selection of different food um, and drinks. Um, got another three hours on the train, I think, so not too bad. Um, and then we'll be in Milan. Wow, that looks beautiful. There's actually a couple of tents up over there. Probably doing some fishing. This is why I always need longer for my trips because I look at mountains like that and I think I want to climb that. <laughs> oh my god! The heat literally hits you in the head. Like it just hits you. It's like 30 degrees. Just arrived in Milano. Finally here after six hours on that train. Do you know what? It didn't even feel like six hours to be honest. They actually went past really quickly. Um, so yeah, that was good. The train was slightly delayed, so we've got about I think two hours or just under two hours until our next train now, which will take us to Naples to our final destination. Just came outside to have a look at the station. Very big. It's extremely hot out here. But for now, I'm heading to KFC. So this is the inside of the station. It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely massive. And there's just so much here. Like there's so many different places to eat. Yep. Like over there, you can see that they've got the signs for all the shops as well. So we've got about 10 minutes until our train is ready to board. So we're going to head over there now. Um, they want like a new road to go to the toilet, so I'm just going to wait. Wait 10 minutes and go when we get on the train. Um, so I am currently on the second train, which is the last train of this journey um, on the way to Napoli. 
and I thought I would upgrade to business class for this one. You get like unlimited free drinks and it was only like 20 euros extra or something like that for both of us, which is quite cheap. Um, so you've got a lot of space here, to be honest with you. You've got the tray table that folds out. You've got the cup holders. There's like a little bin there as well, which is quite cool, so you've got to keep going up. And yeah, just waiting to go now. Four hours left and uh, we'll finally be at where, well, nearly be at where we need to be. Um, and then it's just a car ride from there. So yeah, nearly there. Let's uh, hope that these drinks are good. So this is what we get in the business class. station the train has been delayed by about 50 some 51 minutes now we have about an hour and a half left of the journey if there's no more delays which i really hope there isn't fingers crossed we get there before 10. it's taken a very long time but it's it's really been an experience and um yeah just looking forward to to a couple of weeks ahead now the train is literally just pulling into Napoli Centrale and then no more trains <laughs> for today. Thank goodness. It's uh, 9.50 at the moment, local time, Italian time. Nearly there now. <coughs> Just so glad that um, it's gone <coughs> as smoothly as it has, even with the delay to be honest. It's not been too bad, it's not made too much of an issue. I would highly recommend paying the extra to get the business class though because you do get free drinks you get like a little light meal um, served at your seat and also the seats are so much more comfortable you've got so much more leg room there as well um, especially if you're traveling on your own it's quite good they've got single seats in there as well and they're like big leather reclining seats so it's um, much more comfortable to get those so I'd recommend that so you can see we're literally about to pull in and that's the delay up there. It's quite cool that you can actually see where you are as well, similar to some of the planes where you have the screens. It shows where you are. So yeah, let's get off this train and actually start a holiday. <laughs> Finally here after two days worth of travelling. That was such an experience, honestly such an experience. We're not quite where we need to be yet, but we've only got an hour and a half drive in the car now and we'll be there. But finally the train part is over, which was taking forever. 